this VISTA recording on how to run image J from your computer in order to make measurements uh, off of any digital picture. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to the image J website by the National Institutes of Health. So just using Google, you do image J, it should be the first thing that comes up. There it is right here. Click on it and you're gonna have to download it. Now, depending on if you run Windows or you run a Mac, uh, pick the appropriate. Right? We usually pick uh, the biggest one that's possible. I've already pre-downloaded it. And on my desktop, you should see a icon that looks like this. When you click on it, it opens up this little toolbar and then you have to open your sample. So the thing that we do is uh, try to grab the best quality sample. Uh, so if you're working off of something that is a, um, a preview, like maybe you find an herbarium sample or something along those lines, it's a preview for uh, an, an image that you looked up, uh, you would need to actually download that image in order to make it the best possible one. So here I have uh, an image of Dodecatheon Medea, which is a uh, herbarium sample. You can see it's got a nice scale in it as well. Uh, all of your images have to have some sort of scale. It doesn't have to be one that is an actual ruler. Uh, you can have a picture of something you take out in the field that is um, uh, maybe a leaf or a bug. As long as you have like maybe a, a quarter or a dime or something along that line where you actually know the diameter or know the length of the object, uh, you'll be able to run image J on it. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is set up your scale. So what we're gonna do is we're going to zoom in on our picture, which you can just do a control plus, or you can actually use uh, the zoom tool. So you can click on zoom and you can zoom in. All right, so here we are zooming in, and then you use the grab tool to move around on your picture. We're gonna zoom in. You can see that this is set in inches, which really kind of stinks over here. Over here we have centimeters, which is even better. You see this one is taken from the D Denver Botanical Gardens. We zoom in a little bit farther. We want to try to get it onto that scale as close as we kind of can so that we can draw an accurate line. We go to the line tool right here and we click on line. We're going to draw a line from one edge of the one centimeter mark to the other edge of the one centimeter mark. Finish that. And now we go up here to analyze and we are going to set the scale. Pops up a window and it says, hey, your known distance is 109.0046 pixels. That's great and dandy, but we want to know measurements not in pixels, but actually centimeters. So our known distance for this is 1.0 centimeters, and our length or our units is centimeters. We hit uh, global. If you're going to have multiple pictures where the scale is exactly the same, you can click on global and the uh, sale will stay set for all of those components. Then we press OK. Now we're ready to actually uh, do some measurements on our specimen. So we zoom back out, so control minus if you want. Uh, and we're going to maybe, let's say, uh, measure the length of one of the leaves. So uh, here's one of the leaves in the sample. Maybe I want to zoom in on it to capture it the best I can. out a little bit okay so maybe I'm gonna do length here okay now if it's a nice straight line you can just use the length tool and we go whoop. all right I'm doing this crudely you want to try to be as accurate as possible we draw out that line and we say oh hey analyze that and we get a measurement and it says hey your length is 12.789 and you know that centimeters because you already set the scale now if your object was slightly curved which it is in this case. Um, I might click on this line here, but you see how there's a little red arrow? If I right click, it pulls down and says, you can do segmented line. So you do a segmented line and maybe I click my way around. Let's start this off, click, click. You can see it's kind of bent a little bit when they press the specimen. Um, sometimes it, it folds a little bit. This one's actually pretty good all the way out to the end, double click to finish. And you can see that uh, there's little white dots or squares that popped up when I finished my line. And now I can measure that. 
that is pretty darn close to what we had last time. That's a 12.764. Now, um, you can do this obviously for any kind of curved component. So if I grab and move here, we can see that the fruiting body or the flowering part of this plant, you can see it kind of bends here. So you could use that segmented line. And if I wanted to go all the way up to where all the inflorescence are popping off, I can do that. I could also zoom in. Maybe I wanted to get, you know, depending on how the quality is, if you wanted to get some of the pistillate components or the anther components of this flower. Um, this one's kind of hard to see those, but you could you could possibly do that sort of thing. The other thing that's great with this tool is you can figure out the area of two-dimensional objects. So if I wanted to grab the area, let's say, of this leaf, I could do so by using this polygon tool. So I click on the polygon tool, and I'm just going to click my way around this. Click, click. And I'm going to do this real crude because you don't want to sit here and watch me click this through. But if you zoom in, maybe you want to get capture all those little uh, nicks and grooves in the plants, right? I'm just going to cut across and zoom across or zoom back out and, and finish. But the key is when you come back to your polygon, you have to finish it out, click back where it, you started, and you can see it finished its measurements because now it has those squares. Now you can grab those and move those if they're in the wrong spot. You know, if you made an incorrect click, that's fine. Um, and then you analyze, measure, and we see that the area of this is 17.238 centimeters squared. So the nice thing is there's a lot of options for measuring any type of object that you have uh, in a picture form as long as you have a scale. So you go out in the field, you take some pictures of flowers or animals or um, fungi, whatever you decide to do, uh, just make sure that you have something in your scale or something in your picture that you can scale off of. Uh, obviously, the, the more that you frame your picture with, let's say, your camera, uh, the more pixels will be in there and the more accurate your measurements will be. So if you're taking a picture from afar, uh, it might be a little harder to capture a, a really precise measurement. Now, the other things I wanted to kind of show you, um, there are free draw options. So in the line tool, um, there's a freehand line that you can do where you literally just click and you drag so you can make little curvy lines. Now, this obviously takes some precise work by your hand in order to do, uh, but that is an option that you can have, and it will still analyze and measure that component. So that line that I just squiggled out was 49.394 centimeters. Um, so there's a lot of different options. There's uh, freehand selections where you can do you know, some sort of circular device, or circular, not device, but circular shape, uh, and you can measure that and get a, an analysis of that measurement as well. Um, but like I said, you have to have pretty good hands uh, in order to do that, so uh, be forewarned with those. Here in the circle, you have oval selections or elliptical selections. Uh, in the square, you have rectangle or rounded rectangle tool. Uh, so there's a lot of different options that you can have. You can have marking. You can mark the tools. You can do angles in this as well. So those of you looking for uh, some extra projects, maybe a map or something along those lines, uh, there's an angle tool that allows you to measure. And then you have, uh, like I said, the straight line, the segmented free line. And I haven't played too much around with the arrow tool, uh, but that is an option as well. So there's your tutorial on image J. I hope that helps you out with any uh, measurements that you have of any digital uh, pictures. Good luck.